Hi, my name is Rachel and I'm the Engineering Manager for the Scalability Team in the Infrastructure Department and I would like to introduce you to Aero Budgets. Part of our goal in the Scalability Team is to enable development teams to understand how their code and feature categories perform on GitLab.com and to do this we introduce the Stage Group Dashboards which are introduced in a separate video. They provide a lot of information about your feature categories and these dashboards show how reliable and performant your code is. Even with this, it can be hard to know how much time your team should spend on reliability and performance and how to balance this with the feature work that you have. So we've introduced error budgets as a way to help with these prioritization decisions. Error budgets provide a single number expressed as a percentage to show how a group of feature categories are performing on GitLab.com. You can see your stage group's error budget through your stage group dashboard. For example, this is the stage group dashboard for the source code group. Error budgets are made up of two parts. They are made up of the AppDex, the Application Performance Index, and the Error Rate. Now for AppDex, we count how many requests were executed successfully and how many completed in a time that is acceptable for that specific endpoint. And for Error Rate, we count how many requests were received and how many completed without error. Every request is attributed to a stage group and we sum up these totals to produce the error budget using the formula that is shown on this page over here. The error budget looks back over the previous 28 days to show how the feature categories have performed. The choice of using 28 days is deliberate. It's the best way to capture trends and account for weekly fluctuations and 28 days also aligns with the product development timeline. The recommendation is to review the stage group error budget 14 days before the milestone begins to determine how to balance feature work with reliability work. The budget spends are reported monthly on the 4th to align with this. The reports um, are as such uh, containing a variety of information. The target is set at 99.95 which matches the target that the infrastructure department has. And the significance of the shared target means that we have a consistent language and consistent goals. But these targets also ensure that the infrastructure we rely on is able to meet the needs of the application. Every team below this target places a strain on the infrastructure resources that we share. If your stage group drops below the target, you should investigate the budget failures shown on your dashboard using the links that are provided on the right. There is documentation available for how to do this assessment and if at any point you need assistance in working out what is required, please feel free to reach out to the scalability team for support. We'll continue to iterate on how error budgets work and how you can control the metrics that are recorded for each endpoint that are ultimately used in these calculations. We recognize that different features have different needs and we're working to better cater for this diversity. We hope that you find it helpful to see how your code performs on GitLab.com and we hope that the system provides data to support you in your team's prioritization activities. Thank you for watching.